All right, my name is Kelly Looking Horse, and I'm from Waquama Lake here. I live at the Crossroads community there, Gordon Junction. I, um, everything that, uh, I wish I could say that I was taught by somebody, but uh, I taught myself all of the craft making that I do, and now I want to just pass it on to others, because uh, I know the shortcuts and the easy way of making these items and what they stand for, and uh, I want uh, I want to pass on my knowledge so that I can keep going, so others could uh, learn how and appreciate it. So, you know, that's basically the reason why I agreed to do this workshop. And uh, we do make like breastplates, and we really make uh, like uh, bonnets or uh, drums, um, regalia. We do beadwork. Uh, they, they call it lazy stitch. You know, we do that kind of stitch. We also do. Uh, the uh, par, flesh. par flesh, a lot of uh, rawhide. I, I clean uh, rawhide. I got two of them stretched out of my house right now. And then I, I clean them all up nice and clean. And then I make boxes, purses, hand drums, all kinds of stuff out of that rawhide. So a, a big buffalo hide, I could buy it for like $150. And then I can make like $1,500 off that same buffalo hide. <clears throat> but it's a lot of work. And so, we really enjoy doing this kind of activity, and uh, we don't work nowhere. We just, my wife and I, we do this 100 percent, and um, we uh, we just travel all over the country, selling our wares and uh, sightseeing, uh, visiting people, and making friends everywhere. And we just we love this life, and so we just wanted to share that with others. So, so the thing is, uh, what what this craft making enabled us to become was self-sufficient. We become like a, we can become a, like a ray of hope to others, you know, that they can also learn how to make this stuff, and then they can make money doing this kinds of work. Not only just make money, but also enhance or to keep alive our culture and our traditions. And so, uh, it's inspiring to be able to be be a craft person, and uh, you also like to represent your tribe. Because we go out to California and normally at all these big powwows, we're about the only Indians from Pine Ridge there. And, and there's two factors. One is, you know, blue spaces are real high. The other is it costs money to get out there. And third is, uh, you know, you have to have the inventory. You got to be competitive to, for all the other arts and crafts. So it really, uh, the young people, you know, you guys are all uh, worried about uh, unemployment and all this stuff. But if you learn how to do these things, this is a way of uh, getting out of poverty. This is a way of uh, putting money in your pocket and paying your bills and being self-sufficient. But you just got to be real serious about it, you know. You got to study, you got to research, and it's a lot of hard work. But once you get over that hump, then it's smooth sailing because you can make the stuff, uh, you can make people happy by uh, making these items, and then um, it's, a, uh, it's a big, uh, um, you know, commitment, but it's really, uh, it feels good. It, it feels good in my heart that uh, I can make moccasins Lakota style and people appreciate our work, you know. So the, uh, we begin with the, with the um, pattern. So normally I try to, I made a, I measured them from toe to heel to six inches. I don't know if that means it's uh, six inches, um, you know, what size it is as far as that goes. But this is a toddler size. These are like uh, kids that are just starting to walk. Mm. Oh no, bigger ones. These are bigger ones. Yeah, these are, see, even bigger. Seven. But you see, so what you do is you, the kid steps, steps on a piece of paper, something preferably something thick like this. And then you step, on, step down on that, then you measure the foot size. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to make it a little bit longer, just so that, you know, they can grow into it again, you just make it, you know, you just add a little extra on the heel, like that. And then you cut that out. Then you lay this down, and then you lay that down, and then you, you put the, this over like this. You make the pattern from the top. So that easily, it's like, it hits at the bottom, down right here at the bottom, and on top, there's a couple, maybe a centimeter. And it's kind of like that, like an oval shape. And you see that toe part right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then, um, 
That's how we made the patterns. And these are all kits. So here's one for you and for you. Okay, so, so what I do is I take I take the um, pattern like this and I lay it on a piece of leather like this. And I, I uh, trace it with a pencil. I trace it like this with the pencil. Then I flip it over and then I trace this side next. And then you cut that out and then you lay this uh, sole you lay it on a piece of latigo like this. Latigo is good for practice. When you get real good, you can use buffalo hide or whatever you want. But you know, for practice, latigo is good. When you lay that latigo down like that, make sure you got one way when you measure it here, and then you flip it over, and then you do this side next. So then you got the soles. So that's what you have. And I already punched holes in your soles. I used a little drill, and I even put a, a I glued that leather um, strip that we used to insert between the top and the sole. There's a piece of leather that goes right between it. And that's it right there. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how to sew the, uh, the tongue onto the leather, onto the top, and then sew the backside up. So what I've got is some needles. Yeah. And, um, Glover needles. <laughs> and, like and, then, and the thing is also, we got to remember, um, oh, let's just leave it, get in there. So usually these uh, the string I usually use this uh, sinew. I try to, I try to use this natural color because it kind of looks good. You know, looks like the original uh, sinew. And then you cut about that much, and this is you could pull that apart and by force, or maybe sometimes. Oh, that's two right there. So yeah, five I think it is. We taught, uh, what was that, 35 kids how to make moccasins in Upper Sioux in Missouri, uh, Minnesota. And it took all night. Okay, so if they finish one side, they'd wear one side. And, <laughs> and this is a, a wax, a beeswax. And I usually just go right over the thread like this a couple of times because it keeps it from unraveling. So you guys can do that. Pass that around. Here's a string for you. And then you can, uh, Susan will help you, uh, Ivor, so don't get all <laughs> intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then, then once you do that. I'm just darn lazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then once you, once you wax the thread, take one end and knot it a couple of times. Don't, all, not all the way to the end, maybe about half a centimeter or so from the end, not all the way to the end, because you're gonna you're gonna sew that part in, it's like a tail. Boy I got my fingers are all cut up so it's uh, cut out. I get caught on all kinds of stuff. And then uh here's the needles here. Usually it's better to use a uh, number, this is a number five, and number fives are good to sew uh, leather because uh, it's not too big. Okay, I've got trained eyes, so I know what, what I'm doing here. But, all right, this one here is a number five, and so after you thread the needle, It's a big hassle for me, I'm just more blind. 
All right, so once you thread the needle like that, and then not all the way through, you can use single. So let me get your needles here. Here's one for you. I think I'm blind too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm the only one that has a good excuse. I'm 70 years old. <laughs> okay, and then, um. I didn't bring my glasses. Most of the time, the moccasins, uh, I usually put the fuzzy side up on top, like this. These are finished ones here. You see how the fuzzy side's here? Mm -hmm. And the shiny stuff was on the inside, see, like that. Yeah. And so what happens is, the where you can see the stitching on your uh, soles, that's going to be the top. I mean, that's going to be the inside. It's the shiny inside. Yeah. And then this one here, the moccasin top, you can see how it kind of curves with the heel of the toe is, like that. So this will go like this, and then your your um, tongue. Your tongue is gonna also, when you bring it up, the, the, the fuzzy stuff is gonna be showing. So how you do that is you measure like this with the shiny, and then you flip it over, and this is how you're gonna sew it right here. And then when you get done, it's gonna go back up the upright, and then this is gonna go like this. But when you sew it, you sew it like this. Okay, so then this is how it's laying right here. And then the tongue is, uh, hope you're, you're gonna place it like that, the top. So what you do is you lay it like that and you flip the top over and you lay it right there. And then you sew the, you sew the um, tongue on. And sometimes the tongue is a little bit hard to, if you're not used to sewing. So that's how you sew it like that, you see. You start from here and you put like two stitches, you go backwards, okay. then you go back again that way. Okay. Oh. Should they have like little pieces they could grab it? Yeah. So okay. we want to start on this side then? Uh, so. This side, see how it's laying? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and so. Okay. so see how? just make sure this is even. Yeah. So start here. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so Normally I saw the soul tongue on already, but it, it's not it's no fun when <laughs> someone does everything for you. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to cut some little pieces. Or yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got some. I brought uh, three right there. I use my top right. This is just a. Hi. I just snuck over. Yay, you can take over. <laughs> Your assistant has a road arrived. Yeah. <laughs> so what you do is you, you can use a piece like this uh, and to push your needle through like this and then you can use it to grab it like that and then pull it through. Okay? So here's some pieces here if you want to use them. This is right. Oh, you got uh, you can you use the needle it. nose too. Oh, I can grab it. Yeah. Because if you grab it too, the needle is like a three-sided needle. If you keep grabbing it, you're going to cut your... You're going to slice your fingertips. Fingers. The needle itself, see how it's real pointed? Oh. So, I use glove. I use uh, the needle nose. Yeah, I don't think I ever sold before. <laughs> <laughs> I just snuck over all my floor is dry. You need to do that too. He's telling me. Susie will show you how. You'll you figure it out. Next thing you know, you'll be like making moccasins for everybody. <laughs> no. But <laughs> I'll be done for you. Yeah. I, I, I know um, some white doctor in California, we taught him how to do it. Now he's a professional. He, he's uh, got an ad in the paper. He said some old man from South Dakota taught him how to do this. <laughs> he got everything right except for that old man. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Oh, no, no, and then he's been saying he's doing this for 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kelly, do you go over? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a... Over. Okay. They call it whip or... Okay. And you, you can use a needle nose to push the needle through, uh, or either that piece of leather. Yeah, there's three needle noses here somewhere. So. Yeah, no. Yeah. So you don't uh, hook your fingers. Yeah. Well, the needles are a three needle oh. and when you're pulling it you're really gonna yeah. uh, it's a glover needle yeah you're gonna uh, cut your finger so a clear cross yeah mm -hmm. yeah not clear, clear to the very end okay where'd my sample one go And then try to get your stitching in each straight. Yeah, try to get that stitching around real nice and neat so yeah. you can sell it to Prairie's Edge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. Where's Tilda and I? It's yeah. so perfect. Yeah. I said that somebody was posting a Pipestone on Facebook. And hey. I was looking at it here. It was that guy, uh, Antoinette, her husband, that poof of it. They said, man, they, they had to be careful. Yeah. They had pictures and everything on there. Yeah. Five stone. And I said, Tilton does that. I said, well, I've never seen him. <laughs> Put that in yeah. Reading hmm. uh, I know, down there at Five Stone, Minnesota, they're trying to, they're trying to shut that gift shop down. Hmm. All these traditional Indians have been marching on them and everything. Yeah, but the owners. Passed away, you know? The owner or whatever? What? Uh, Pipe? Yeah. Mm. You didn't hear that one. I know um, a lot of uh, 50 tribes utilize Pipestone, I guess, and mm -hmm. they were upset that the Indians are selling Pipestone. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're saying that they shouldn't do that, you know? I told them, I said, go down there and try to mine that. Pipestone. Then tell me that. I said, See, that's a hard work. <laughs> they won't let you use modern equipment like uh, jackhammers and stuff like that. Yeah. I wish we could use jackhammers. Well, we can get big old pieces out of there. But you have to use chisels and sledgehammer and uh, those claws to hook up that block and pull them out, you know. Mm -hmm. But you got to go through sand and gravel and dirt before you get to the actual machine before you get to the actual pipe stone. So it's not easy. Some of those pipe stones all filled up, I mean, those quarries are filled with water. Mm -hmm. So they actually had to get a bucket and shovel out all that water. <laughs> they won't let you bring any submersible <laughs> pumps down here or nothing like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of work. I spent two weeks over the there last summer in uh, Ray Red Wing. And so, those guys have been kicking them out there. They ought to come down here and <laughs> try to find this pipe stone, then they'll change your tune, you know. That's a lot of work. Just like this pipe, uh, this, these uh, moccasins. We, we sell a finished moccasin for $40, just like that, the clean one. People kick them out and, oh, that's so, that's so high. So I'll sit down and make one. <laughs> <laughs> that's how children have to make it. They don't know. But his head roaches too. I said they don't realize how much work is put into mm -hmm. that. It's time consuming. Uh, yeah. I could sit there for hours. Okay. She, he can get one done now in a day. Mm. There's a lady over there in uh, Little Eagle, is it? Uh, Red Bay. Mm -hmm. That's, they said she's good like that. They said she put some out like you can put in an order, and a couple of days later she'll call you up. Yeah. Come get it. That's how his is. As long as they have the uh, hair. Well, yeah, the hair and the uh, white tail. Yeah. He's got to wait on some white tail. He has an order for one, but they don't have that color they want. But I know. Um, I had some head roaches. A friend of mine brought them down and he wanted me to sell for them. We took them down to the Black Hills Powwow and. He only wanted like 500 a piece for them, so 
Okay. Man, they were like 19 and 22 inches long. Uh huh. The hair was like seven inches height. She well, didn't want to give them five hundred dollars. <laughs> That's uh, crazy because they're all going with that synthetic hair yeah, nowadays. Yeah, I said, what happened to traditional porcupine hair? They want the taller, so they're going fake. At one time, the Lakota's uh, head roaches, we used to have spreaders. and spread them so they look like this, flat, you know? And now, Oh, straight oh, up. Straight up, yeah. yeah. It's like uh, Oklahoma style. Mm -hmm. And that's Oklahoma style head roots. But we like that look, you know. We move our heads and go see those, you know, and then they spring, you know, that synthetic uh, horse hair they got. Well, that's the beginning. That's what they like. I don't. I still got all the head roots. Everybody else teasing me. And you should get a different road. No. That means something to you to have it that long. I learned, I learned how to dance first before I get a different roach. <laughs> <laughs> when my roach is, is what, 57 years old? Yours? Uh, wow. wow. One of them. I know those. Old grandpas. Those roaches mean a lot of history. Yeah. You realize. See, so when you're done, this is how it looks. So, this is the top of the... Like that, see? So that's how I stitched it. Gee, look at your sewing compared to mine, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I got years of experience. Can I have a sewing machine? <laughs> I know when my mom was alive, that's what she wanted me to do. She goes, get a sewing machine, just whip it up. She said, go ahead. People buy it for the intimacy. I don't know. It goes over like that? Yeah, it goes over like that, yeah. And then once you get that part done, then you sew the, the heel. The heel up. We're going to sit down, Colin, and learn how. I got a lot of grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> got all those grandkids there. She don't want to be on He's been making moxies for years. <laughs> I know we make moxies. We got three grandkids, man. We're making moxies all the time. Wow. So this just beat it a whole one for uh, one of our, our older granddaughter. And then she went to school, and now she danced at that TWO pub out here. Some other kids are now hating on her because she has beaded moccasins. I said, Christ, these kids. People should appreciate when somebody's trying to do something. Mm -hmm. So now I'll start on. The uh, heel area, not where to go. Oh, so then when you do the heel, so you do it this way now. You see the shiny stuff out, and then you put the two together like this, and then you start from the bottom and you go up. And so you see that's how it looks when you, when you get the top done. Seems and then cute. this, yeah, and this goes onto the sole. And the sole is already half done, the, uh, the insert. It's already glued on there, see? Mm -hmm. So I did half of that already for you guys. Mm -hmm. And then the holes, of course, are there. The originally, there's no holes. Mm -hmm. So you have to like use a hole puncher. I got these hole punchers, mm -hmm. like, these dolls. Like mm -hmm. okay. You make your hole and then you follow up with a stitch. But these, I used a little tiny drill I have. Mm -hmm. Did you need more senior? <laughs> <laughs> I cheated, yeah. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, you can use, uh, you can What's your soul made out of? Those are latigo. Latigo, they're a uh, cow, split cow, like this right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're pretty inexpensive. Like can you a, get it at Prairie Edge? Yeah, you could, uh, but tangy is better. Yeah, they're really expensive at Prairie Edge. Get her another shoes for this one. Yeah, there's, uh, tangy is uh, the best place to get latigo. Mm. But uh, Prairie Edge got good elk hair. That was really good piece you got there. That candies is right Where across the expensive? road. Yeah, I've seen that. Because normally, a sheet of elk hide for us, we pay like 189 or something. And that was 108, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look that over, see why they sell it to you for so cheap. <laughs> <laughs> it might be kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Can I got a big, great big piece because I figured one. she might yeah. want the leggings yeah. next. Yeah. And then go back. That's why I got a, such a big piece. Right there. Mm -hmm. she and then go to back ready. down and then go back oh, down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, she had yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Going back down and then we're going back you know up. So you did double stitch here, hmm? double you know stitch here because they're tugging on this. Oh. So when you do the back, you, you start about right here, you go down <laughs> and then you go back up. Oh, she said to start about there, so that's why I started there. Yeah, and then but you go work, your, work there down and then come back up. Since it's white. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen uh, my grandmother make moccasins when I was a boy, but they had, they did they did an owl like this. They used the owl, and then they used the sinew, and so they would have little pieces laying there, and the tips of them were real stiff because they would get them and they would twist them and let them dry. So she had four or five out laying there, and then every time she finished this one, she grabbed that one. So they punched the holes in it and then they stitched it. Well, that's a lot of work, but boy, she used to really love making moccasins. You can start with right here, mm -hmm. go down, and then come back up. This makes it a bit more sturdy. Okay. You see there, uh, Tony? Okay. We're gonna do the. Start like the bottom there, go down, and then come back up. Seems to be. Yeah, what did Colleen get me into here? Gosh, you're good. You know, once you learn how to make moccasins, boy, you'll be like valuable. Yeah. Ouch. We got people all over coming to our house always asking for moccasins. Especially around May. When the Sundance season is about ready to start, mm -hmm. nobody wants their dad's barefoot no more. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to traditional? They don't want to show off their bunions. <laughs> oh, great, I poked my finger. According to Harry Dent. <laughs> yes. There's so many. I heard it too when it went in there. Yeah, stickers. Come out the other side. Try not to do it on your bed. I know, that's, <laughs> why, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Oh, I need a band-aid. Yes, it's gonna open. <laughs> There's a lot of people that At Michael's? barefoot out there. But oh. Well, when you get past 50, then you have a good excuse. Yeah, Michael told me, why am I all consent? So it's sitting there picking stickers out of my feet. I'm the boss lady. Yeah. Uh, Melanie is the little boss lady. Yeah. She's the lover. Is that your granddaughter? Mm-hmm. Whose uh, daughter is that you? Yeah. Oh. My mini me. She's the <laughs> pipe girl. Okay, so this one here is going to be done, and I'll uh, so I'll glue this one on top of the uh, sole. That's what I'm trying. It's saying it's. We're, we're cheating and making it a lot easier for you. I know uh, if you don't glue them, your leather could shift around. And by the time you finish putting it onto the sole, mm -hmm. it could be all crooked and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you see, this is how it looks. The back is sewed up now. Mm -hmm. So you turn them inside out? Yeah. Once you get it sewed, you turn it inside out? Yeah. Or right side up or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but then you lay it like that, and then here's the sole. The sole goes right there like this. Then when you get ready to glue that sole on there, then um, you uh, um, you uh, do it inside out when you glue it on there. Okay, watch this. So this is right side up, see, right there. And then generally, this is this here back, is exactly, exactly um, even with uh, this here in the back of the heel. So that's kind of your starting mark. My sewing a little bit too tight, so I have to loosen it up a bit. Okay. 
Now, see, when you lay it like that, and then you, inside out, you turn it, both of them. And then when you turn it, it's inside out now, see. And then you lay that down on top of the sole. You measure it. And then you put a little dab of glue right here in the back, right here like this on the heel. See that? Put the glue on there. And this here goes right on top. You put it in its proper place. And you're gonna hold it in place like that. Because you see, that's where you're gonna start sewing. You're gonna sew the, the sole to the top with another whip stitch. But the holes are there for you. So mm -hmm. half of it is already done. Now you see what's once this is set in place, then you go to the toe and you figure out where the toe is going to be. Figure like that, and then you look on top, make sure the tongue is straight out even, like this. If it's even back here, it should be even up here. Should be no problem. It's all about measurements, making sure that everything is measured correctly. And then, you set your glue up here on top again, like this. See, that's just a shortcut I was telling you about. You don't do this, boy, it's hard to sew that top on there. You'll be getting yourself all upset. <laughs> This is attacking the And I tried, first time I tried it, I used super glue. <laughs> and man, that needle wouldn't go to that super glue. <laughs> so, you know, I just, you know, I just, because of instruction, you know, uh, for uh, sake, you know, mm -hmm. to teach people how to make moccasins, because what happens is uh, when people can't sew them on there and it gets difficult, they lose interest. This is real easy. Mm -hmm. So this, you know, basically you're not going to lose interest. You're going to keep at it and you're going to finish it. Mm -hmm. So we taught kids, young boys, young girls, seven, eight, my grandkids know how to make these because this is how we do it. Mm -hmm. And you see now the top is, the front is glued, the back is glued. All you got to do now is do the sides. You pull them over just a little bit. Anything. Uh, having to do with any kind of craft making, if you find a, a, a shortcut, you don't lose the interest. Mm -hmm. We do that with the drum, uh, the drum kits. Everything's pre-measured, pre-cut. All they gotta do is sit there and lace it. But we teach them how to lace that. So now you see, this is the side. I'm putting glue on the side here like this. And then I'm gonna do the sides up, see that? Mm -hmm. So that'll stay. And then this side, the other side next. Now if people are learning to learn my secret here, boy, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be out of business. <laughs> everybody will be like, everybody will saying, hey, we know how to make them, we know how to do a shortcut. They were saying, maybe we should just sell kits, you know? Get the markets and kits, everything you need in them, inside of a kit, like, like this, this here, this is, this is a kit that you guys have. Everything you need is in here. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should just sell those. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, now you see, the top is glued on there. Mm -hmm. Now what we can do is uh, get my needle. 
And then uh, usually for the soles, I use a uh, I use longer string and plus I use a double, not a single. So here's a, a sinew like this. I use longer. That one I think I used about this much. Soles I use it longer because I don't want to have to tie them together and run out of thread. And then this is going to be a double one. So this breaks into five. So I'm going to use two. And then here's my wax. Use the wax, wax the edge up. Again, I usually put my knot in it before I do it, put the needle in. Reason being is because sometimes I forget to knot it. <laughs> I stick, pull it through and it goes right through. <laughs> <laughs> and then usually I put a double knot at these ones. Mm -hmm. I tie them on top of each other to make the knot bigger. And then there's a little bit larger needle, so I use the uh, I use the five with the tongue and stuff. Now I'm gonna use a this one here is a two. And then again you you thread your needle, single. Okay, and then when I start sewing it, I usually start like at the back side. So this is how I start. I go here. I go over to this side a little bit more. I go about right there. The hole's already in. And you push it. And then this is where the needle noses come in. Mm -hmm. You have it with the needle nose, and you pull it through. And you put your first stitch in, and there's that knot right there, and here's a tail. You always put a tail because you're always gonna sew that tail in. And you go to the second one, kind of hold it this down, make sure you don't put it right in the line of the needle. And you push it through. And you pull the needle through. And make sure you got that tail tucked in there. And you know, when you get to this point, when you stitch, when you glue your top on and everything, you can take it home with you and finish it at home if you want. Mm -hmm. But you know, that's very simple, you see. Mm -hmm. It's all cut out for you. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is, you know, assemble it. And then here's the third hole. And then the hole's already made. They're already out there. Like if you didn't have the hole in there, you'd have to use an, uh, one of these, what do you call One of these owls like this. And you have to make your hole like this, one at a time, all the way through. Mm -hmm. But this is already there. Then you push it through again, you grab it, and you pull it through. I bought this special uh, drip drill thing, uh, it has a big uh, motor hanging like this, it has a big old tube coming out of there. At the end is your drill. And oh. you could put the finest drills on there. The mm -hmm. smallest pieces of drill you can find, you can put on there. And uh, it, it has a foot pedal that you control. So you put it down, you put your foot down, you can spin it, or you can let it up, it'll slow down. So it's really nice, I did 150 for that. At, uh, who's lobby down there in Rapid. Mm -hmm. So that's what I swear by. So that's what I use. I, all my moccasins, I make these holes. So it, it cuts down on the labor a whole lot. Mm -hmm. So you see now, again, you know, here's, the, here's the fourth. And actually it gets kind of fun. I love doing this, man. I could sit there and make moccasins all day long. Not so much as preparation, measurement, cutting, all that, but sewing it. Mm -hmm. I love this. I love this part. And you see, that's how it looks. Mm -hmm. Can I use your scissors? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Oh, scissors? Yeah. 
and I'll wax the thread for you guys because uh, it's going to be in two parts. So it uh, it uh, separates into five pieces, the sinew. So, are you guys ready for sold yet or not yet? <laughs> Where are you guys at? I'm just sitting here watching you. <laughs> you can try to show. Highlighting it in my head. Yeah, you can try to show on that a little bit. Uh, I was just to get an idea. Make sure she don't sew her fingers. I wish I could stay, but thank you. Yeah, sure, you're welcome. It was good to learn all of that. Go back and take care of those little ones again. <laughs> yeah. They are so cute. What is she teaching at? She, she's the cook over at... Nick Dog? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you some guys are just so sweet. I can check it out. Went to the school ah, last night. Yeah, yeah, what you call your group? Oh, yeah. She was late coming in. She came in and got her stuff. Just started to sit down. And uh, this one here, yeah, and these people came in with their little girl. She saw Naomi. I heard her around. saying, okay. Naomi! Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, when you put the heel on, make sure it's this sewing here. <laughs> he was right down the middle of the <laughs> She just that, ran. Uh, well, you know, uh, uh, right Naomi, there. like she hadn't seen her. It's not exactly that. Before. Thanks. I could. Uh, no, no. Just this one. That one. I had to go cry for a little bit. Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's a big cut, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a stab. Yeah, I really bumped your dad. I mean, I, I, I used to do that all the time. Man, was, the Glover needles. One time, uh, my oldest daughter came in the room, man, she mouth was wide open. She was going to cry, but she couldn't. <laughs> I looked at her, and she had a diaper on her. He loved her and he was sticking right out of her thigh. Oh man. Ooh. oh man, he just jumped out of the chair and grabbed that needle and yanked it out and sure she started out crying. I felt so bad. I said, Ever since boy, we really scoured the floor if we lose this needle. So these are really sharp. Can really put a damage on your your leg. Yeah, geez, I guess. Yeah, it was bleeding pretty good then. I didn't want to get my leather all full. I didn't want to have red leather. Yeah. <laughs> spotted leather. Yeah, spotted leather. Yeah, and then when you do the toe, you do the same amount of leather uh, glue on the top too. Yeah, I'm doing this just fast. <laughs> I know. He must have did this before. Yeah, no, never did this before. He was a married to an old Indian woman from way back then. <laughs> in the past. Yeah, in the past. Like that? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You got it going on. You see how it goes? And oh, you see, wow. that we, we lit the top, see? Uh -huh. So it makes the sewing a whole lot easier. Oh, okay. So when you finish your uh, back end right there, that so in there, I'll show uh, you how to do it. Okay. And as soon as you can show, uh, you can show Tammy how to do it. Oh, you got, you, are you almost done, Tammy? Yeah. Okay. I'm going, I'm sewing like this way. Am I supposed to be sewing like that? Yeah, it, yeah, that was better, but you know, you I could, know. if whatever works, but oh, okay. normally so that, that's the way it's better. Okay. Because this is going to be creating a big old knot for the back of your heel. Oh, okay. It's going to be rubbing on your heel and oh, yeah. very oh, irritating. Oh, yeah. so, uh, well, just leave it, then we're tied easy. Yeah. 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 Like you a look on top. No, like a little here. over it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got it going on. It's good. 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 It's 
some more cream. Not gonna have any blood left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need any blood. Uh, good thing I have a whole bunch of India. It'll be gone. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need? The you know what uh, I'd love to do is teach this all over the res so I can uh, get a lot of people to uh, make their own moccasins, you know? So our kids will never have to dance barefoot with socks on. We go to the TWO piles and we see that all the time. Mm. I, these are the only two pairs of moccasins I survived with over the weekend down there at Sioux Falls. So we, we went up with six pair. That's all people buy is moccasins. Mm -hmm. So we just sat still and made moccasins, you know. <laughs> but we do we make all kinds of different crafts. So here's a needle for the sole there, Tammy. Mm -hmm. Okay, it goes right on top of here, huh? Yeah. And and this is in the inside. No, this is the top. So that's gonna be showing. When you sew it, so come in when you glue it, yeah. You see how this one is? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I don't know you do this <laughs> We're getting to the fun part, though. Yeah. The fun part of sewing it up. Yeah. I made, we made 14 pairs like this for Red Cloud Indian School, mm -hmm. and she sold them all. She wanted to know if we could bring more. I was like, geez. <laughs> <laughs> Should have hit us up about a month ago. Yeah. I keep telling them, man, we get busy around uh, March and April, but they don't believe me. So they want me to come to Watertown now to do a Ooh, workshop over there. Good friends. Way over there. Yeah. Uh, we, we go, well, we've been to Minnesota a lot. Mm -hmm. Minnesota, we go to Colorado, Toyot, Colorado. We were in a room like this teaching kids how to make mock drums, and all of a sudden, man, a whole rash, a mob came in. <laughs> See, and we have documents. Yeah. We have documents. Yeah, we have, we have, uh, we, we videotaped them. Yeah. And we had a mob come in, and they were all angry because they weren't included in it. Yeah. We already had yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have a band aid on every video. <laughs> <laughs> Can we? Yeah. Um, Naomi wants to. Beat it? Beating, because she beat them before yeah. together. Yeah. So what I could do is uh, this right here, or even yours. I could well, cut if out. You can, if yeah. you can. Um, I'll cut out a pattern for you. Cut the pattern yeah. and everything. Back. And then she could beat it, and then we could um, bring it back, and we could um, seal it. Oh, okay. That's going to help. But you should mind. No. Yeah. Well, if you do the little one, you'll, 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 you'll know how to do it. it. You don't even need me no more. Yeah. But I don't know about the hole. That's. One of the yeah. main parts. If you don't have a drill, use the old way, man. Use a oh. Oh, that takes a long time. <laughs> yeah, I got that. Uh, we did that with one of the groups, remember, and they yeah. poured things in a hard time. <laughs> we just used the owl and punched holes in like this, yeah, and then it took forever. And everybody was like, oh, they created this scary session, right? Yeah. I would have just do it for them. Yeah, for you guys, we just did this. I'll just give them in to Justina. Did you ever see our facilities out there? Uh, Papami Lake? Papami? Yeah, that ch uh, cemetery. There's like five or four buildings sitting in a horseshoe out there. I think that good. And you know, our rumor is flying all kinds of ways about what it's going to be and so stuff, you know? So good. But yesterday we went out to my old place way out there. I have some land way out to the boonies. <laughs> we went out there to get some water for alkali for the buffalo heights. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, we were doing that, and we, we stopped in at the building, and I wanted to show her. Is that good? Because she never, I never, I, she never seen it. Yeah, good. Here's a, here's a needle right here. You want me to start it for you? Okay. So, uh, anyway, we went out there, and that building was just sitting yeah. empty. Yeah. Yeah. This middle, mm -hmm. it was right here in the middle. She so kind of hold it like that in place. Uh, oh, no. Long time ago, he didn't hit. Just he, long time ago, he didn't use glue or anything. So we got it backwards. Because he does it like this, like to do it. This goes here, and then this goes here. You want to try? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Inside out. I'll keep going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this one goes right here. So put your dab of glue right here, 
And it's just um, hold that in place. And then to turn it inside you can go out. over here to the toe so and do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Now everybody in the car will be making moccasins like my style. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the fine liquors do it, huh? <laughs> Rainbow Valley will all have yeah. moccasins on. We're making um, moccasins for Wiyaka's class, that head start. Oh, really? The whole class is going to oh, have moccasins. Oh, shoot. Bowen just missed out. <laughs> we're going to do a <laughs> workshop for the parents to come in uh -huh. and learn. But we're going to make, you know, kids. So next week we're going to measure their feet. <laughs> he, just, he just loved your class. He just he had such a hard time over here, and then mm -hmm. at, uh, when he went over there before to Pine Ridge. Was he there at Christmas? This no, he started preschool over oh. here this year. So they all got jackets. Oh really? Jeez, he really missed out. Mm -hmm. They all got brand new jackets from a church in Rapid City. Hmm. So that was really nice. So she's getting some good contacts. That's good. That's what I liked about her. She's just really got things going. And I know the parents were really hard to uh, help those kids. And she even adopted one of those kids uh, in Christmas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The one that her mother, they found her dead. Oh dear. Yeah, Blue Bird or whatever her name is. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, the one that's playing it. Yeah, there's a little girl that. Go to school and class. Yeah. So she went. Did you see Wilco? Huh? Where did you see Pine Ridge. Yeah, the Pine Ridge head start. Mm -hmm. But she. Now they're trying to make her into a. Uh, not in the reservation wide, you know, bridges and stuff like that. But she, she, likes, she likes teaching right down the spot. I know, I wish she could have came over here and taught. I would have sent him over here. They have a hard time getting, getting, getting it. Yeah, people to stay. Employees. Employees of any kind. At the beginning, she didn't like it. You know, two years ago, a year ago, uh -huh. she didn't like it. And she came home and had to rebuild her. Two parents giving her a hard time. Other employees, you know, mm -hmm. that work with her at college. You know, so she come home, she bent, then uh, get ready to go on a work hospital. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I used to do that for all my nieces and nephews. Charlie and Terry, they were always beat up. <laughs> I'm home all day. Like, what happened to you? And then we had to school. <laughs> <laughs> Grandkids. Yeah. yeah, she does a really good job over there. She got some kind of award last year. Yeah, she got something about innovation or something. She introduced the Lakota sign language, and reading, and prayers, mm -hmm. and then they read that. Posters. Then she got the recognizer. Uh, Janice Richards, I think her name is. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's the new director. Mm -hmm. The thing is, you have to like what you do. You know, if you do your job, then it reflects on the kids and your work. So she likes the cops. So. Me, I got tired of housing. 18 years was good enough for me. Yeah. Did you retire? Yeah. Oh. Yep. Too much back problems. Because I had uh, five back surgeries so far in the last three years. And I know uh, I've been working on buffalo eyes and ran eyes about die every night. I go inside and lay down in my house. I tell 
she wakes me up. She can take a shower, you smell like buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> can you take a shower? Yeah. You oh, smell God. like an old buffalo. I know. Sleeping with the buffalo. Drag myself in the shower, I take a shower with my eyes closed. <laughs> then I hit the sack again on the house. You know it's morning. Why did you get up early? It's just a black boy that house starts rocking. Mm-hmm. That's crazy how they know on the weekend they get up so early and then on the weekday they can't even get up. <laughs> <laughs> then on the weekend they're up about six o'clock. Jeez. Mm. Remember that one time the house was real quiet and I got up and I go, where is everybody? What time is it? It was like seven. And they were all asleep and we like, oh, you guys better get up, get out of here. And I went back to bed and I, then it got real quiet and I go, gee, did they leave? And they, everybody was gone. <laughs> that fast? That's how I am. All home, all by myself. Sit that up. I always reflect on the days when we were with us. When we were living out in the boogies, we went to school in Baseline, and watched us come to us. Well, it sure changed today. Things are really improved, I hope. But mm -hmm. well, we didn't have a shower, indoor facilities, all that stuff. I think we take a bath once a week. Grandpa had a bucket in the next room. He'd be and sitting in there, steam coming out, and you get out of it, steam coming out of your body. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you be doing the steam dance? Mm. And then the first came back from California, I met mean, Susan and the kids moved out there. I really went to it out there for three years. Man, it was tough. One of the older girls, they went off to boarding school. So the two little ones stay there. Put the red out, boy. If he make it, make it as far as that corner, he'd be sitting there hunting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you run across that field with the kids. And that uh, should be like easy. So do you turn it over now or do you sew it? You sew it. Sew it. Yeah, I think I've got the needle right there. Right. The photographer gave out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where do you start from right here? Here, I'll show you. Oh, okay. Here. 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 Close. 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 So we'll finish this one now. We can, this is like the most Teaching, teaching, and now they're, uh, I think they're doing it. 
workshop, I mean, it's uh, mm. got workshops mm. all over the country. Mm. Cool. I wonder if that's them. I've seen them in uh, rapid with that, so I've asked them a question. Just because you speak the language don't mean you know how to teach it. They told me that. It's <laughs> 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 like saying, just because you're Lakota doesn't mean you <laughs> don't know how to live like one. Yeah. <laughs> just because you're Lakota don't mean you never eat a dog. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, they're white people, and the guy that was heading it out had a big old cool mustache, they're like orange. And uh, they come from Indiana somewhere. And they're teaching a workshop in uh, Rapid, I think it's the 19th and 20th of March. Sitting on a flyer somewhere. And I, my daughter was all interested. She said, What do you think, Dad? I said, Well, she if they let you take a day off the road and speak it Friday and Saturday. And she said, uh, Oh, the, the school wanted more information about it. Mm. Did you hear anything about that time or what? Huh? Didn't hear anything. Is that better? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Now remember, this is just instruction. So once you get the hang of this, you can modify or practice, practice, yeah. practice. I know why well, we must have made a thousand pairs of markers. I must have made a lot of, this year alone, I made a lot of things. I enjoy making them. Mm -hmm. Once I get my patterns all cut out and everything, it's just, you see them like that. It's just in front of the window. Now, now that the moccasins all sewed up, what we're gonna do now, and the tongue is on there, the back is sewed up, we're gonna push it right side out. So we start with the toe, and we push the toe in, and then we, it's a lot easier with this toe first. You start with the heel, I don't know why, but it's really hard to bring right side up. And then this is what it looks like when you flip it right side up. And so you got that little insert here all the way around. The stitching, you can't see it at the bottom. So you're not walking on the stitching. And then, um, the top side like this, the tongue is on there, so you put this string on here, the uh, lacing, and so that's a, a finished one right there like that, and that's what it looks like.